Today I'm going to show you how to make these easy breezy beautiful window pane cookies. They are so easy and almost foolproof, but all your friends will be impressed unless you wear them as earrings, in which case they'll be like, hey Cindy, a little tacky today. Try something better. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. I'm adding four cups or 480 grams of all-purpose flour into my bowl with a sifter attached, half a cup of cornstarch, this is that magic ingredient that lets those sugar cookies hold their shape so they don't spread out. And about a little bit less than a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, sift it all together. All right, give it a whisk just to make everything incorporated nicely and set aside. Into a standing mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, I'm adding in one full cup or 226 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. Very room temperature. Clean it up. And let's add the sugar in now. One cup. Let it get nice and fluffy, and then it's time for the eggs. All right, we can scrape the bowl down now. Love this color, it's just off-white. Now, while the mixture's running, add in those two eggs. First one, let it incorporate. Second one, next step. Egg two. You can see it's nice and incorporated. Scrape the bowl down just a bit. And now we can add in our flour and cornstarch. Okay, so we're just gonna stump that in there. Don't spill any or make a mess. <laughs> on very low, mix it up. Okay, while this is coming together, let's add in a tablespoon of vanilla. You could add less vanilla in, you could use peppermint oil because it's Christmas, whatever you want. I'm excited, look at this. This is what it should look like. It's come together and you can see it's really like a nice, almost Play-Doh-y consistency. Perfect for rolling out. In fact, you could roll this out right now, pop it into the oven directly, but it's a little bit soft to pick up the shapes. So what we wanna do is put this in a plastic bag, pop it into the fridge, let it chill for like 20 minutes or so, so it's hard enough for us to manipulate with our hands without distorting the shapes, because the shapes we wanna be really, really nice and perfect. All right, dump this out onto some plastic wrap. <laughs> and then just press it down. And we're gonna cover it up and give it a little bit of a roll, just to get it started. Get those edges nice and wrapped, and this is gonna go into the fridge for 20 minutes, you do it overnight, do it for a couple days, it'll be fine. And then once you're ready, let's cut those shapes out. I brought my dough out of the fridge and it needs to warm up just a little bit so I can roll it out. So in the meantime, let's smash some candies. I have some Jolly Ranchers, you can use whatever you'd like, but choose a nice hard candy that's a color you appreciate. So here, some cherry Jolly Ranchers. They look like beautiful rubies. And they'll look really nice when we carefully put them in the center of our cookies. They just melt in the oven, so it'll be perfect. Take a couple, pop them into a nice thick plastic bag, seal it up, and then it's time to get some aggression out. Okay, so we're just gonna literally smash, careful of your counter. Smash, 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 smash. <gasps> My rolling pin. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Don't use your beautiful wood rolling pins if you're worried about marring them. Here's my marble one. Smash, 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 smash. Doesn't have to be all uniform. It's gonna melt in the oven, but you want it to be so you can like fill in gaps and make it nice and perfect. That's good. This bag is very compromised, but it's holding in the contents. Okay, do the same for the blue. Okay, back to this. This is when we're gonna use our nice, beautiful wooden rolling pin. So sprinkle out some flour, both sides preferably, and now roll it out. Oh, this is really hard still. <laughs> that was like an ab workout. This is a lot of work. Usually I'd let it rest for maybe 
10 minutes or more if it's super hard like this. I think my fridge is set to a colder temperature than normal, but just roll it out. And now it's much nicer, by the way. So <laughs> a little bit of elbow grease went a long way. Now we're ready to cut our shapes out. And I wanna tell you that I'm gonna be baking this on a silpat. Why? Because that candy cannot stick. So if you baked it directly on a baking sheet, it would probably be troublesome. I wouldn't even try it. Maybe waxed paper would be okay, but this is the best. Things lift off it like magic. It doesn't have to be the branded Silpat version. It could be any silicone baking mat. Okay, this is the fun part. You get to choose all of your various cookie cutters that you never ever use and put them together into combinations that you enjoy. So I have big star, a little star is gonna go inside, a circle with a snowflake inside, whatever you want. You only need to have like a small shape in the middle and a bigger shape on the outside. All right, let's cut some of these big shapes out. Sure didn't add enough flour onto the bottom. Let's cut out a small shape on the inside. There we go, that's one down, it looks really nice. And here's the deal. These guys are beautiful cookies too, so you can go ahead and bake those separately. And I love this, but my husband says it's not okay for sanitary reasons, but you can poke a hole in here, use a little ribbon or a hook and have these as Christmas ornaments, at least for a day. The kids will grab them off. If you have pets, forget it. But if you have a tree that's out of the way and you wanna put these on, go ahead and pop a little hole in with a skewer or a straw and it works beautifully. All right, let's do a star with another star out of the middle. The dough can't be too cold or it will crack. So just FYI, you want the dough to be more room temperature at this point. That's why this no spread sugar cookie dough is amazing because it doesn't turn into a pile of goo at room temperature. Last shape is a circle with a Christmas tree inside. So cut that out. <gasps> Pop it out. Okay. Cut that Christmas tree shape out. Perfect. Here's the fun part. Now we're gonna fill those voids in with candy, just like in real life. Carefully spoon into the center and just make sure you don't get any candy on the actual cookie. It has to go inside. These got filled up pretty neatly. There's a couple stray things here and there, but I don't think it's a problem. Into the oven for 12 minutes at 375 Fahrenheit, and then keep an eye on them. <laughs> These just came out of the oven and I popped all the bubbles. They have to cool down completely before you try and lift them off. Otherwise, it'll be a disaster. So go ahead, let them cool completely to room temperature. It'll happen pretty quickly, and then you'll see the magic. Okay, I waited like two minutes, comes off beautifully. Look at that, you can see the light through it. It's like a magical Christmas moment. And if you wanna be that person, go ahead and now you have a beautiful ornament for your tree, which will be eaten or, you know, destroyed quickly. But look how cute it is right now. Okay, it smells really good too. So I'm not gonna take a bite of these because I actually will be putting this on my tree. But if you were wondering, these do, Tastes really good. That cornstarch just adds in like a kind of like melt in your mouth situation happening. And look at those nice edges. They're not bloated. They really kept their shape. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.